tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi folks, I want to show you how to visualize a function, in this case the exponential function. How do we do this in Maya? Well, we go to one of the orthogonal windows, front Z for example, and we'll create an object which will move in an exponential way. So, for example, a NURBS sphere. Make it smaller. And here in the attribute editor, this is the engine which makes that NURBS sphere. It's called the NURBS sphere shape. And uh, you have modification possibilities here, start sweep, etc. But what we need, and this applies to all kinds of objects, whether you start with a cone or a polygon object or whatever, you have the translation, tran rotation and scaling parameters right here. Now we want the translation to be behaving like an exponential function going up. That's why y is the up axis, so we consider typing in something in this field here. So I type in equals and you always need to set the equal sign before typing in a function. And guess what the function is for exponential function in Maya? Well it's exp. And exp every function needs a parameter to, to depend on, a variable basically. So uh, and that's uh, in brackets. Are they called brackets? Um, and well we type in time the sphere will move up exponentially by steps of time. You see it already jumped to 1 and when I extend the frame range now to say 500 I get this animation. It shoots up and you see that it starts slowly, it accelerates and then it gets really fast and that's basically one visualization of the exponential function. But we will make the exponential function more typical by letting the sphere not only go up but go sideways as well. That's why we type in equals frame. That's 1 24th of time. Now we have this motion here where, because frame is very fast, but we can already see our exponential function. If we want to tame this, we can uh, edit this expression here, right mouse click, and forget about everything up there, we just concentrate on this single line here, the NURBS sphere translate x, that's left and right, equals frame. Let's divide this by, well, 3 and edit and close and then you see that the motion is behaving much more like you find it in the school books. Why is it starting at the height of 1? Well this has to do with the timeline. We start at frame 1, we should start at frame 0, the sphere snaps to this grid part here and it's one unit up that's why we edit this expression again right mouse click and type in minus one because we just want to make it start at the origin nice isn't it we go from modeling or wherever we were to animation and here we have visualize at the top entry is create an editable motion trail and that's exactly what we're gonna do edit motion trail. Why is it red and why is it blue? Because red is the past and bl blue is the future. That's the motion trail in Maya has these colors. And now we have a really elegant function curve of the exponential function. And that's all for now. Have a nice day. Bye bye.